Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. Dental dilemma. A Cumberland woman says she's the victim of fraud. Her Cranston dentist was recently arrested and charged with insurance fraud. Now she gets a bill for work that was never done. She contacted problem solver Susan Hogan to sort out the mess. This Cumberland woman says she would know whether she had a crown put on, and she didn't. She even has the x-ray to prove it. But when her dental insurance wouldn't help her, she called 12 for action. So how was your day today, Christine? Christine Payson and her husband had been patients of Dr. David Marcantonio's for years. Both of us and our, our ch children. Then, back on March 20th, 2008, they received this letter from Delta Dental news that the insurance company would no longer be paying for service done by Mark Antonio due to quality of care issues. Couldn't believe it because we had been going there regularly, so as far as we knew, everything was on the up and up. The Paysons switched dentists and they thought that was the end of it until this spring when Christine's new dentist said she needed a crown. So they submitted paperwork into Delta Dental, but her claim was denied. Well, according to Delta Dental's records, uh, Dr. Mark Antonio in August of 2005 had put one on Christine's tooth. Did you ever get a crown in 2000? Not on that tooth, no. And Christine has the x-ray to prove it. Her new dentist says based on this x-ray along with an oral exam, there was no evidence of a crown on tooth. Since the insurance company only pays for one crown per tooth every five years, they would not pay for the work. The patients say they tried to explain this to the insurer that Christine never had the work done in the first place. But Delta Dental's response, since we no longer have a relationship with Dr. Mark Antonio, we cannot compel him to work with us to resolve your issues. That's when the patients call 12 for action. We're getting frustrated because we're getting nowhere with Delta Dental. Um, I have spoken to a lawyer as well. And he advised me to, to seek out you as well. Call 12 for Action contacted Delta Dental. The company did reopen the patient's case and agreed to pay half of the bill for Christine's crown. The company also said it has filed a lawsuit against Mark Antonio. And if successful in recovering any money, the company will make it available to patients who had to incur additional expenses for dental treatment that had to be redone. Now, a spokesperson for Delta Dental says the company continues to cooperate with the state police in their criminal investigation. By the way, his dental license in Rhode Island has been revoked. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.